So they say with a weak foundation, you'll end in ruins. And today we're going to go over the basics. So an introduction to people who don't know them and a revisit to anybody who's already been growing and had a beard for a while. Uh, this will really kind of reinforce your foundation and get you the best beard that you can. Okay, so for the first thing I want to talk about is growing your beard and the process of growing it. And, you know, there's a few things about this that I kind of want to touch on. And the first is just growing it to, to get as much length out of your face as you can. And if you wanted to get a really long beard, the first thing to keep in mind is stop trimming it. I, I hear about it all the time. People are like, hey, I keep... Uh, trimming my beard, but I want it to go long, but I don't like how it looks in the middle. Well, unfortunately, that's just kind of how it works. Like, it's like when you grow long hair, there's there's awkward in between phases. And if you're trimming it, you're never going to get there. So the thing is, you just have to deal with these bad phases. It, it just doesn't work uh, the way you want it to. Now, yes, you can trim, say, like every two or three months and just do a cleanup but not like a trim and reshape. It's just kind of like part of the process and it's just a little bit better, but not always great. Uh, you just kind of have to bear with it and stop trimming. And if you have a beard in mind that you, you really want and your hair is growing in the direction that you want it to, um, again, I just like to think about it like you have to get the material to build with and then you trim it kind of like if you're growing a hedge. Like you let it get wild so that when you cut it, the shortest pieces are where you want it. You know, like you, you don't try to push it and force it. You just let it go and then you clean it up right real tight and it looks perfect. And I think that to get a, a beer that you really are happy with, generally speaking from scratch, I'd say six months. You can get your beard looking good in two months or maybe three. But to get the what you're kind of looking for usually takes about six months. Second thing is I highly discourage using any shampoo or conditioner that is made for your head hair and scalp. Your scalp and your face are totally different skin types and the hair as well. You don't want to be treating it like uh, back and forth. Uh, you need something a lot more gentle for your face and uh, far less chemicals. Beard Brand does sell a wash uh, if you're interested in that, and it's great, it smells divine, it's great. Uh, if you don't have access to this or can't afford it, I do recommend a natural soap over any kind of shampoo and wash. Uh, I just think it treats the hair and the skin a lot better because it's more gentle. Um, again, I really don't think chemicals are the way to go of any sort, so when you're washing it, uh, also keep in mind, you don't have to wash it every single day. That can cause irritation to the skin and hair uh, can dry out. So you want to just rinse it on those in-between days. And, you know, uh, I rent, I wash my beard every like two, two days, maybe. So day, skip, skip, day. And uh, I mean, it's, I found that that works for me. You might be different. Again, everybody's skin is different. And also as your diet changes and as you age, your skin uh, changes as well, so you might have to change it up. It's not a concrete thing. It's it's kind of it's conditioning. It's it's really just taking care of it, and that that takes attention. So, again, with shampoo and washing, just be gentle. That's the way to put it. Number three is oils and treatments. Uh, I think this is one of my favorite parts of having a beard is putting the beard oil in and having that aspect of everything. Uh, when you do, you want to put about a dime size into your hand, rub it through your hands and spread it out and put it into your beard, but you want to aim to get it into your skin. You want to put it through your beard and trying to get to the skin and treat your skin as well as the hair. Um, now, in addition to all of this, beard oil doesn't uh, necessarily grow your hair faster it helps your hair be healthier and the healthier that you are and your hair is the better the growth process um, so if you really want to try to grow your hair faster you want to be healthier drink more water exercise and so on and 
use beard oil or balm or something like that to really, really care for it. And again, like I was saying, wash it gently. It's just kind of something you want to just take care of and pay attention to. Um, and it smells awesome. It smells so good. The fourth thing is styling of the beard. And I think that a lot of people misunderstand that if they just grow a beard, it's going to look good or they're going to look cool or whatever they want to do. And that's unfortunately not always the case. You actually have to style it in a way that works for your face and your, your proportions and everything like that. There's a little bit more to it than just having a beard. Um, a couple things that you might want to consider aside from watching a bunch of the videos is just kind of pay attention. You have to brush it, you have to comb it, one or the other, you know, some people like brushes, some people like combs, but you have to take care of it. Brush it or comb it. Um, use a hair dryer. A hair dryer is one of the best things to shape it once you start to learn how to use that and fix the problem areas too with a hair dryer. That's going to step up your game so much. Uh, find pictures of beards that you like that are similar styles, uh, a hair uh, type as yours, and try to try to see what you can do to, to get close to that. And you, you might learn from that whether you can or can't do something. It's a long process. It changes. Your taste may change. I used to really love a really long beard. Mine used to be kind of down to like almost collarbone a little bit but that's not my thing right now. I kind of like it in this middle part. I used to like it really, really short, only like four months ago. Your taste will change. Your style will evolve. It's just kind of this flowing thing. So just have fun with it. Don't really stress out about all this stuff, but it does require some attention. If I get out of bed and I don't do anything, I just look like crap. Just, you know, your beard looks like crap unless you take care of it. So just, it, it's just how it goes. So I really stress putting a little bit of attention into brushing, combing, styling, shaping, trimming. And the fifth one is protection. Um, this kind of comes up with a lot of people pull their beard and stroke it and touch it and lean on it. And they just do these things to it that are just really damaging in the long run. And it can break hairs. It can, it can make them fall out. You really want to be careful of treating it like it's like it's like it's made of stone like it, it it isn't you have to kind of be a little if you really really want it to be the best you want to treat it a little bit better i don't know why people touch it i've never had that issue um but like just leave it alone that's kind of the best way to treat it um also stop putting chemicals in it i hear people like putting cologne in their beard and i'm like that is, that is so bad for you. Like putting alcohol on hair is just, it doesn't make any sense. Use beard oil. That smells better than alcohol by far and it, it just takes care of it. So that's kind of like, just, just don't, don't be dumb. Okay, so I have a couple bonus things I want to talk about. They're not necessarily as uh, superficial as those, uh, but I think it, it's worth sharing. And the first one is, don't compare your beard to others. And I think that's a big uh, discouraging aspect a lot of people do, and I've done it myself. It's, it's noticing a beard of some sort on somebody or a best picture of yourself and thinking that that's, that's how it should be and that's how it can be. It, it's not always the case. Like you have your own beard and it sometimes is good and sometimes is bad. It is yours, your hair is different, your face is different, everything is different from this other person. So you really, really want to focus on your own growth and make your own growth the best instead of trying to imitate or do something of somebody else's or always trying to be at your top game. Because even if you had a good beard day, then yeah, it's just not going to look like that every day. But you might learn something from that and step it up again and you just kind of keep leveling it up. But again, don't compare to others. I think that's a huge thing. Uh, lastly is eating. Uh, it's mentioned quite a bit and it's definitely a factor, especially in the beginning of growing a beard. Yeah, it sucks. It's annoying as hell and uh, it's a mess. But after some time, you get really good at it and you get used to using like chopsticks, silverware, 
using a straw all the time. Uh, these things just kind of become part of your life and you just don't even think about it, or at least I don't anymore. I just, I eat how I eat. I, I know that if I'm gonna eat like hot wings, it's just gonna be a mess. So I just get a bunch of napkins, like, and I don't really think about it. I just, it's just kind of how the way it is. And I just deal and go on. I don't really kind of, like it's a little funny at first, but now it's just like, it's not even anything. I don't, I don't consider it at all. It's just I napkins and I just clean up. I actually keep a little bandana in my pocket most of the time that I use all the time. So I always have something. So yeah, um, that's about it. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If I missed anything, throw it in the comments. And until next time, peace. And now that you've made it to the end of the video, be sure to treat yourself with some awesome beard brand products over at the shop here. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do that and enjoy the videos. Till next time, beard on.